losing the lightweight title to Barney Ross, Tony Canzanieri got another chance when Ross moved up to welterweight. Here he takes on his former sparring partner, Lou Anders, for the vacant title in May 1935. Lou Ambers and Tony Canzanieri, they've done a lot of sparring in the gym together. They were both regarded as, as very, very gifted world champions in their own right, both uh, fighters at the top of their game, and um, their, two fi their, their fight for the lightweight title really produced uh, fireworks. Ambers was a, a great puncher, a very busy fighter, and Canzanieri was an all-action guy with a big Italian following throughout America. Lou Ambers was only a young guy, he was 21 years of age. Casaneri was uh, five years older, 26. Had that uh, little bit edge in experience. Uh, they'd been sparring partners, they knew one another in the gym. But uh, it was Casaneri that uh, took that uh, decision for the lightweight title on that first occasion. <laughs> Canzanieri won the first two rounds and now piles on the pressure in the third. Only lands a hard right. But he faints with head and shoulders. Thank you. 
three slaps. See? That was a fast left to the body. Look at Tony. He's wailing away with his right, even though his left arm is locked.